Hello, and welcome back to the ICU doc. This is Tamaris Baranos, and here's another lecture on perioperative and critical care transthoracic echo. In today's presentation, we will talk about the E point septal separation, which is a quick and dirty method to estimate ejection fraction, how to acquire the view, and how to make the measurements. First things first, the E point septal separation, or EPSS, is measured at the parastinal long axis view. I will leave a link in the description if you wish to refresh your memory on how to get the parastinal long axis view. When measuring the EPSS, it's important to make sure that you have a clear view of the mitral valve and the septum. Once you have that, the next thing you're going to need is M mode on your echo. The E point septal separation measures how well the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve moves towards the septum. The closer it moves to the septum, the better the ejection fraction. An easy way to think about it is that if the anterior leaflet doesn't slap the septum, the ejection fraction is poor. After getting a good view of the mitral valve and the septum in the parastinal long axis view, you select M mode on your ultrasound. You place the M mode vector right through the tip of the mitral valve, which is right here. This is the tracing that you will get. Let's identify the structures. Starting from the top, you first come across the right ventricle, and that corresponds to this cavity over here in your M mode tracing. Then you have the septum, and you have the left ventricular cavity. In the middle of the left ventricular cavity, you have the mitral valve leaflets. Notice that there is two waves. The first one is the E wave, which indicates early diastolic filling of the left ventricle. And the second wave is the A wave, which indicates atrial contraction. When you're measuring the EPSS, we're focusing on the E wave, not the A wave. The mitral valve touches the septum, that is great, that is normal, and you don't have to do anything about it. But if the E wave doesn't fully touch the mitral valve, just like it's shown here, then you have to measure the distance between the septum and the tip of the uh, E wave, just like it's shown here. So in this patient, the distance between the E point and the septum is four millimeters. The normal EPSS is anything between zero and seven. An EPSS of more than seven millimeters corresponds to an injection fraction of less than 30%, which is a severely reduced ejection fraction. And this concludes the lecture on E-point septal separation to estimate ejection fraction. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you check out our website, YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter to stay updated when new videos come out. If you like the lectures, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share.